Right guys, so today we're at Tony's on Munningham Lane and apparently these guys have the best smash burgers in Bradford. So today we thought we'd come down and try it and see what they're all about. They also do a variety of desserts, waffles, cookie doughs. We'll just show you a little video clip that we got of it. And uh, hopefully, inshallah, if we have enough room, then we'll uh, review the desserts as well. But if not, we're going to try out the smash burgers and see what they say. I got the classic smash, two uh, beef patties and um, uh, hella cheesy uh, With chips and you drink J2O yeah, yeah. Come on So much flavour in your mouth and it's cheesy and taste the, like the pickles in it as well Right now 5 out of 5 <laughs> For the chips? You alright? Is it proof? Is it proof? Is it proof? Banging man. Right guys, so I got the, uh, basically I got the uh, similar sort of uh, burger from that I got. So it's two beef smash patties uh, with two cheese. Montreal Jack slices of cheese, gherkins, salad, the house special sauce. That's how we go like this. This will like. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's sauce, because you got so much cheese in there, it's like really oozing and stuff. Nice and soft beef. Parties disintegrate in your mouth. The house sauce is like a burger sauce in a way, but yeah, that, that really works well. So, see, the drink I got, guys, I got a strawberry daiquiri mocktail. The brother Fine. said uh, he'll make him move on, on the house, so not on the house, you have to pay for it back. <laughs> Go on, quick, but uh, that. let's have a go at that as well. Yeah, that's, that's buggy, nice and refreshing. You know, just taste the lemonade and stuff. The Come strawberry. on, give the chips a try, lad. Give the chips a try. Sandy oh. potato content, nice and uh, you know, salty. Not too salty, perfect. The way I like it. Yes, yeah, perfect. You know, nice crispy though. Know? Right, go on. Alright, it's not going to be a food review without me getting the biggest burger on the menu. This one's got four pies on it, four layers of cheese, tomatoes, gherkins, lettuce and all that. And uh, yeah, we got fun watching as well, so I guess we get straight into it. <laughs> oh, go on. Did you go all the way down? You go all the way, let's see, let's see, let's have a look. Oh, you got it all, you got it all. That's it, man. That's it, man. Wait, 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 that is bad. The cheese, they put bare loads of cheese on that. Look yeah. at that, nice and cheesy, not dry. The flavours of the gherkins, uh, lettuce and all that come through. Yeah. Perfect left. Quality of the beef is second to none. Beautiful. And uh, yeah, the buns is standard, nice, nice bun. Chips, nice and crispy. Good level of salt on it. Good uh, potato content in there. That's beautiful. Alright, so. You know what, there's only three of us, so we'll talk, we'll get uh, some desserts as well, make this uh, review a bit longer, yeah, and actually review some of these guys' desserts, which they're also known for, as well as the smash burgers. So yeah, we're gonna order some, we've already ordered, we've got some uh, desserts now. Yeah. So yeah, let's try those. First time, I think we're trying desserts, isn't it? Yeah. On the channel, so yeah. If you, uh, if you want us to go to dessert places, we are thinking to drop some comments be below of uh, what dessert places you want us to try. Yeah, some, uh, some suggestions in the Bradford area. Yeah, we are going to uh, start doing desserts and uh, other stuff as well. Yep. So yeah, leave your suggestions in the comments below. So I got the all your cookie dough, drizzled with chocolate sauce, and uh, topped with crushed Oreos, and served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. That's more than a scoop, that. Look at that. <laughs> two scoops, you say two scoops. <laughs> And, and the menu says one in it, so you have to go with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm gonna do this. Go and just wax too much strain to it, bro.
Bound to be looking at that, bro. Bad chocolate on that. The boogie does like soft and crispy from the outside. Not burn at all. 10 out of 10. Nice and fresh. Who was there? Try that thingy. What do you call it? That thing in the middle. The wafer. Yeah, that. It's not too easy. It's not too easy. It's not too hard. It's not too extra crispy. Is it? Is it alright? Yeah, normal. Right, so I got the... It's called the Royal Waffle. So it has Nutella, Fair Russia pieces, some chocolate swirls. Yeah, full of chocolate. Let's have a go at this. Oh, that feels nice and soft. Tell me. Just by pouring into it, I can tell it's nice and soft. It's going to be in the middle. I'm going to do this. Whoa. I don't even have the money. I don't have any desserts that much to be honest with you, but no, it's banging. Nice and crispy from outside. Not too crispy. Nice and just pure crisp. But then it's nice and soft texture in the middle. Really a lot, a uh, lot of chocolate obviously on it. If you if you love your chocolate, this is for you. The ice cream is probably one of the best vanilla ice creams I've had. Man, it's really really good. It's not like your. It's fresh ice cream, you know that. None of that scoop stuff. Fresh spray ice cream. Out, spray out ice cream. Uh, Same as the ice cream uh, machine. Yeah. Well, ice cream one owns. <laughs> ice cream one owns. <laughs> wow, this is banging, man. Too good. So I didn't get anything. As you can expect, I'll be pretty full with the four pie uh, burger. The oh. monster. Yeah, but for the review, let's see what the dessert is saying. I'm gonna try the waffle, Go the on. royal waffle. Go on. I'm gonna do it with the spoon. I think it will with the fork or caviar. Ask me for it. Get some ice cream on there. Come on, lad. That's it. Yo. Die, bar. The waffle, nice and soft, not hard. N not too crisp, but like a nice crisp. Crisp on the outside, yeah, yeah. The amount of chocolate is nice. Like you know, some is it too chocolatey and it gets to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's not like that. The ice cream, that is well. Uh, uh, proper quality ice cream. None of that frozen soft stuff. Fresh ice cream. Goes brilliantly with the waffle. 10 out of 10. Come down, guys. Try the burgers. Try the food. You won't be disappointed. And for those that. Obviously, the car come in, they do delivery as well. So, yeah, do try it out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Right, guys, so my review for Chonies on Manningham Lane. We initially came for the burgers only, but since they're also known for the desserts, we thought, why not for the video for you guys? And yeah, the desserts and the burgers went down an absolute treat. Starting off with the burgers, one of the workers said that the four party one is gonna be too big, but I clocked it. You know how we do on this channel. It had four layer of, layers of cheese on it and it was absolutely delicious. The gherkins, the lettuce, the onions, the chonies uh, house special sauce came to be absolutely beautiful. Eh? It wasn't too cheesy, it was like a nice moist uh, type of cheese. Not sickly, not too dry. The chips went brilliantly with it and uh, the drinks were nice as well. Not too cold, not warm either. And the mocktail I had as well, beautiful mocktails and the dessert. The dessert was beautiful as well. Overall, I think you can't go wrong. With a place like this, burgers spot on quality, one of the best. Price is not too expensive as well. £89, which is not too bad. With every other takeaway doing similar price points. The desserts as well, not too expensive. £6-7, around the same. And I mean, a place like this where burgers and the desserts are absolutely top quality. I don't think you can get a place like this. If you know any places like this in Bradford, do comment below. My overall rating for Chonies on Manningham Lane is a big 5 out of 5. Yeah, it is that good. Come down and try it yourself. Right guys, my uh, uh, final opinion, thoughts of Chonies on Manningham Lane is... Uh, I can't I can't afford, afford anything. The burger was bugging. So obviously I got the two uh, smash patties one uh, with the gherkins and the house special sauce. Two sides of cheese. It, was, it just 
works brilliantly. Nice and soft, nice and oozing, nice and the um, the beef patties were crispy on the outside, just slightly, and uh, soft in the middle. They did, they, you know, they just disappeared in your mouth. How would you say? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, nice and succulent. Nice and succulent. Just you know, they, they, you didn't have to chew them, but they were so good, so so good. I actually ate it within two minutes. That's how good it was. And then the uh, the chips, yeah, they were banging as well. Standard chips. Uh, service was fantastic here as well. The guys at the at the desk uh, were nice and friendly. The food came within ten minutes. No, probably no, no, ten minutes. Probably less than that. Uh, the desserts were banging, nice and soft, as we explained. Nothing, nothing. I can I can't fault at all. So it's a big. I'm gonna give it a five as well. This is gonna probably be on top of our leaderboard, I think. So five out of five for these guys. A big thumbs up from me and uh, definitely definitely come down if you haven't been here already and do check it out let us know what you think Tony I'm less speechless from the burger <laughs> oh my god when I say it's too good it's just too good the beef fat the beef fatty it was uh, succulent and uh, like it dissolved in your mouth as well and for like yes, uh, loads of flavours in the burger they had like onion in there gherkins loads of cheese on there it's too good and uh, the dessert, forget the cookie dough, the ice cream on its own was just, it was just too well, good. Yeah, yeah. Can't beat this ice cream. I don't know what they put in it, but it's just too good. I think I need to ask them what they put in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Make it home. laughs> but overall, I'm going to give you a huge five, five out of five. And um, yeah. So our average was five. Google reviews had an average of 4.1. So on the leaderboard, Chonies are fifth with a rating of 4.55. So that's the end of the review today. Hope you like. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like on the video. Do share the video with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Peace.